what's up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna do another torsion differential custom build. Uh, this one is of my own design, and you can see all of the parts using this build on the screen at the moment. They'll also be linked in the description below if you want to order those from Brick Owl or Bricklink. I've covered in previous videos, which you might want to check out what differentials are and how they work and kind of what the difference is between a torsion differential and a standard one. But essentially, a differential just enables the wheels in a vehicle to move at different speeds, enabling that vehicle to turn without one of the wheels sticking. The Lego differential that they provide a standard, however, if you apply pressure to one of those wheels or it gets stuck on an object, it delivers all of the driving force to the other wheel, meaning that it won't move forwards. A custom torsion differential like the one we're going to build in this video overcomes that problem by distributing the power more evenly between the wheels. So let's get stuck into the build process. So for this I actually had to hack off half of one of these small turntable bits because they're basically inseparable and I didn't uh, want to wait for one to be delivered. Um, obviously if you just buy half of one uh, you don't have to do that. And also the main difference between this build and the previous ones is that it uses the Lego uh, Technic bricks uh, rather than the beams and consequently is a little bit bigger and a little bit more chunky but I think it's good fun and it does the exact same job as all of the other ones do. I've also got some flat pieces in here as well uh, which I don't use in any of the other builds and um, ultimately the end result is something that is a lot stronger and a lot more robust than some of the other versions that I've built. So that is the build, dead simple and good fun. So let's get stuck into the application for this. Uh, because it is a bit bigger, uh, I found that you do need to use um, the Lego bricks to build a frame for this. Although, you know, I'm sure you can build it into uh, one of your other builds, just need to be a little bit creative. Um, and um, yeah, essentially just, I put this together just to show you kind of how it would work, but I haven't built an entire vehicle out of the Technic bricks uh, in this particular episode. Here you can see I've got another gear above and that just connects straight down to the driving gear on the torsion differential. I think one of the things I like about this is because it's a little bit bigger and it uses slightly bigger components, um, you can actually kind of see how it all works, but it essentially does the exact same thing as uh, all of the other torsion differentials that we've done in this series. So I've just got some little uh, half beams on the end of the axles here to show, show you the rotation. Um, but yeah, essentially uh, what this does is just locks up after a couple of little turns and then distributes that power nice and evenly between the uh, axles. I think probably the biggest advantage to this is just it's super robust. It doesn't use a huge number of pieces. Uh, it's good fun to build. 
and uh, it's nice and sturdy and you can kind of see the internal workings of it a little bit easier. So in the next episode of this series, I'm going to do a review of all of the different torsion differentials that I have built so far in this series. Also, if you've enjoyed this, check out some of the previous episodes where I do a whole range of other different builds, all with their own advantages and disadvantages, and I also review all of the LEGO differentials in a little bit more detail. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, chuck us a like, and if you want to see more content like this, then hit the subscribe button to do that. If you've got any questions, or you want to know something that, about the build, um, leave us a comment below, and if there's anything you'd like to see me build specifically, or review, then also leave that in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.